Hello, Just Too Good here. I need to complete series 23. So today, since it's September 1st, I went to Target and got myself 10 packs of series 23. I felt some up and tried to find those six minifigures I'm missing. From the last opening, we got these six figures, so that's half of the series. Now these series are 12. But that means I'm missing, like, what? The elf girl, the candy cane figure, the wolf, the turkey, and the robot. One other figure as well. So let's hope my feeling skills were right and that I got all my missing minifigures because I want to complete this series. And so far, so good because we got our first new figure. All right, you guys kind of know this is one of my least favorites of this series. I'm just kind of tired of the LEGO CMF robots with this very boxy design. This one does have a new piece all together with this very strange head attachment, which also has like a body armor design. It has some nice printing at the front that I really like. And I like how there's three studs all together with two at the sides and then one stud at the top. Now the design of the figure itself actually has some really nice side arm printing. I like the on and off designs there on some dual molded, or sorry, arms. Also the legs themselves are dual molded, which it's nice to get those with uh, some nice printing at the bottom and top there. And then we do get this two by two of an exclusive print of this little computer screen. One thing I really like that's just a small detail is the face print underneath. This face is just really hilarious and gives off a robot vibe. You can also see the torso print underneath with that body armor removed. And at the back you have an alternate face, which I swear is one that we've gotten in other sets. Maybe not with that color eyebrows and then some back torso printing. Again, so far so good. Let's see what this next pack holds. And we got our second popcorn guy. This was not intentional. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little worried because I did not mean to get an extra popcorn guy. So that means my feeling skills could be off, which means maybe I won't complete this series. But the design of Popcorn Kid has that new torso, whatever body armor piece you want to say, the popcorn outfit. I actually really like the use of mid legs for those in dark red. And you get a double sided face as well. All right. Next pack. We have that fairy princess, or I don't remember the exact name. To me, this figure was a bit too similar to that Series 18 figure, but the design of this I love for one particular reason, this candy cane piece. That's pretty overdue and super useful. I've wanted that for years. The rest of the design, well, if you're not familiar with that Series 18 figure, this does have a pretty cool kind of pink dress right there with that tutu. I like the sparkles on the tutu and how one side is colored, the other side is just white at the bottom. And then we do have some sprinkles on those short legs, which is kind of funny. <laughs> and then we have sprinkles on the face. And if you look at the back, she has an alternate face. And also these wings right here have some slight silver lining. If you look super close, the back of her torso actually has a little bit of printing just continuing with that front design. Overall, a very detailed figure, even if I don't care for her. And oh my gosh, it looks kind of creepy with this hair piece on the backside. I do actually want to note that that hair piece and that color, I think, is it exclusive? I'm not entirely sure if it's exclusive because it might have been like a builder minifigure thing. You also get a second copy of this crown in white, which I haven't seen the crown piece in that color before. Man, I, I kind of want to separate the extra to the side right here. Okay, let's see. Who's in our fourth pack? Will we get a repeat? Or will it get a new figure? And it seems like we're getting a new figure with the turkey. Oh my gosh, this actually is better than I thought. I really like this turkey tail piece. <laughs> this is very strange to me because this is a hard plastic. It attaches at the hips, but there's a bit of, I guess, extra space at the front and the back. So it almost has like a little bit of a feathery design, or I guess it's just straight up has a bit of a feathery design for the bottom of the torso, which gives it a more complete look than some other birds. Speaking of which, is this just a recolor of the chicken head part? I'm actually surprised. The detailing in this is better in person than with the figure it looks online. I actually really like how this turned out. And of course, getting those uh, chicken wing pieces in brown is nice as well. There's a pumpkin as an accessory. You know, that's associated with Thanksgiving, but hey, you could say it's a little bit of a Halloween shout out. This of course being a Thanksgiving outfit, the design of which has a double-sided face. So you have angry turkey. And then if you want, you can have, uh, come on, 
happy, happy turkey. <laughs> so, looking at the back of the torso, you could kind of get a look. All right, all right. I'll take off the tail piece because this is just kind of cool how that attaches onto the legs there. And with that part removed, you get a look at the torso underneath. Whew, sorry. It's also nice that we get these legs in a plain brown and red. That's a nice combo in no printing. So we're missing the big bag wolf, the dragon, and one more minifigure. Oh, the elf girl, which is probably my favorite of the series. Let's see what's inside this pack. Uh-oh, another repeat. Our second reindeer. Well, the first for this opening, which I don't mind getting one extra of each figure. I like getting two complete sets for each series. But this design is especially cool to get extras of. Not really because I don't really care for the outfit in particular. I like the face underneath where we kind of have like this strange smile right here. And that's really cool that they captured that design. But I really like the present. I always like when Lego has those two by two presents. We have a nice two by two exclusive printed tile. And inside the present, there's two copies, one of which is an extra of this one by one heart tile. And that being a gingerbread cookie. I love that. All right, five packs left. Let's see what's inside this one. And, oh, some red. Another turkey. Uh-oh, <laughs> I'm getting kind of worried now. I mean, I'm especially worried because I did not mean to get two of these turkeys. And I was feeling up this back part as the wings for the green dragon. So there's potential that I might have thought this was a green dragon and ended up with a turkey. I'm kind of worried that I would not complete this series. <laughs> Crap. All right, all right. Oh, shoot, just as I'm saying this, I didn't even plan it. Heck yes, I guess I have two turkeys. Look, I like dragons, but this one's kind of lame. I mean, the last Celebration series, series 18, had a red dragon, and this is literally just a recolor of that dragon. There's not even accessory, which is pretty lame if you ask me. Some side arm printing though, which is nice. The facial expression has one smiling face, and then at the back, we have a much more angry face. That's actually pretty cool. Fudge, so we got three packs left and I need the wolf and I need the elf. Let's see. I swear I got an extra elf. Okay, good, 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 good. I, I hope it's two elves and one wolf because then everything will be perfect. So while this is a simple gender swap of an existing figure, series 11's elf, I do really love this figure. I love that we're finally getting a new hair hat combo for the elves. Interestingly enough, the original one is a hard plastic. This whole piece is a rubber. Hmm. And uh, the hair pieces make sense for those to be rubber since they have pointy ends. So I guess Lego doesn't want anybody being injured from the piece. We have some nice dual molded legs there for the short legs. I really like that design with the white socks. And then this little snow globe is freaking impressive. I absolutely love how this came out. So we have a printed display piece right here. And you have a printed one by one plate. I love when Lego prints one by one plates. Oh my gosh, flew off there. But that actually has an extra in this same uh, copy of the minifigure. So you get two of them. You actually get two of each copy of the pieces for the house. So you could build two houses with this one figure. It's also nice to get that uh, top part in a CMF series where you get two of. So yeah, very, very cool minifigure. Uh, alternate face right here. It's just a little smile, but uh, yeah, I really like how this figure came out. All right, second to last pack. Give me the wolf. Hungry like, oh shit, I'm gonna, no, this is not gonna be easy. I hope that last pack has the freaking wolf. Yeah, the snowman's my favorite of this series, and this is the second copy. Love this new headpiece, which is creepy when you remove the carrot. Just seeing like one eye there, it just looks so unnatural also for a snowman to have a hole in the middle of the head. But I like the use of the unicorn piece there for the carrot nose. The top hat is just the existing top hat. It's so crazy how this headpiece actually fits regular Lego minifigure hair hat combos. But let's see if it'll fit like the elf one. <laughs> okay, maybe not all of them, but some of them. <laughs> <laughs> they need to have a wide enough uh, bottom part to the hat. And of course you have a red scarf, which is really nice. A little broom, uh, three little dots on the torso and the face print underneath. 
is somebody who's sweating it up, <laughs> which is kind of funny. All right, let's hope this has the wolf. I knew when I was filling these up, I felt a rubber tail. I mean, okay, good. The, the, the dragon doesn't have a rubber tail, so this has to be the freaking wolf. Okay, please, 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 come on. <gasps> Five, no, 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 no. <laughs> why? Fudge, why? No, now I gotta go back to Target. My life sucks. <laughs> I lost the tail, too. <laughs> I don't know where the tail went. I'm ticked off, guys. I, I literally thought I got all of them. I, I felt up the freaking tail. The actual tail, not the dragon tail. The wolf tail for the wolf. I felt that rubber tail. And I, I guess... Did I leave in the cart or something? I, I separated ten figures. Where the heck did that last figure go? Oh, my gosh. So the answer is no. I will not complete series 23 in this opening video what the heck uh, I'm, I'm 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 frustrated but it's really not a big deal like look it, it's it's all in good fun <laughs> the fact that oh no i didn't get a lego minifigure i was missing but still it's just hilarious that i i, I thought i had them all here and nope 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 this green dragon was totally not intended but i, I got them all and i was like I don't even have to make a trip to Target tomorrow, and now I'm going to have to make a trip to Target tomorrow to find that last wolf. It's funny, because the same thing happened with the last generic series, with Series 22. If you guys remember, I never found that last figure, and it actually got to the point where I bought the figure separately, and I still haven't opened it to this day. But I do want to review this series and not skip this series, so I will try my best to get that wolf, but wow, <laughs> can't believe I didn't get all the figures. Anyways, I guess let's go over each of them super quickly. The dragon, which again, kind of just a recolor of the red one. Turkey, I was surprised at how much I love that tail piece. The robot, which still isn't for me, but I like that one face. <laughs> uh, reindeer, which we got in the last opening, but still a very cool figure for those cookies and the present, because I just love present pieces. That freaking extra dragon. <laughs> the creepy snowman, which I love the removed carrot look. The ship captain, which we didn't open up in this series, and that's just a hilarious figure for that big tug ship in the middle. Uh, the candy cane fairy, which I love that candy cane piece. And printing is actually better than I expected. The knight, which we didn't open up in this series, but I really do like that the little horsey head there and the logo on there for like a new faction. We did get an extra popcorn person. Still don't care about this figure at all, except the short legs, are, or sorry, mid legs are really cool, and the generic face. And I guess uh, this guy right here. <laughs> now, this guy is actually a figure that I kind of wish I got a second one of. I thought when I was filling these up, I got a second one for this opening video, but apparently not. Love the Nutcracker design translated into minifigure, which works surprisingly well. And did we go over the elf? Regardless, the elf has that really awesome house build and i love that hair hat combo which is surprisingly rubber that's it for this opening video let me know in the comments when you were so confident you had something and then you didn't have it <laughs> subscribe for more lego news and commentary and a review of this series when i find that dang wolf and i'll see you guys later peace out bye